Football extends its home winning streak. And tennis has an outstanding weekend. All this and more coming up on the Penguin Rundown. Come on in, everybody. This is the Penguin Rundown. I'm Chris Colella, alongside with Christina Sainovich. Christina, no football this weekend. Do you have any plans going on? Yeah, I'm going home to Atlanta to visit my friends and family this weekend. What about you? Oh, so you're hitting the road. I am. I can't say I'm doing the same. I will be staying here in Youngstown, going to the soccer game more than likely on Saturday, probably hang out with some friends afterwards, you know, kind of just hang low for the weekend. So you're not traveling, but you know who is? Who would that be? The volleyball team. The volleyball team traveled to Toledo this past weekend to compete in the Blue Gold Invitational. They opened up with a loss to New Mexico Friday morning and then turned things around later in the afternoon with a win over Tennessee Tech, three sets to nothing. They continued their success Saturday morning as they battled to defeat Toledo over five sets. Sarah Varcola was named to the all-tournament team as she registered 20 kills over 48 attempts in the win. Varcola also had two aces in the win Saturday. The two wins this weekend pushed YSU to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. The Gwens will open up Horizon League play this weekend at UIC on Friday and then Green Bay on Sunday, Saturday. The soccer team opened Horizon League play this past Friday as they traveled to take on Wright State. Unfortunately, the Gwens fell on this one by a score of 4-0. However, they would bounce back on Sunday against Duquesne, returning for their first home game in over two weeks. After being down 1-0 at the half, it would be senior Kyler Lum scoring the game-tying goal in the 53rd minute. The game would then go to double overtime, but the game would end in a 1-1 tie when it was all said and done. It was a big day for goalkeeper Kylie Moffitt as she registered 11 saves on the day. The 11 saves was a career high for Moffitt, improving her save percentage to 79%, as well as lowering her goals against average to 1.28. The Gwens will return to the field on Saturday afternoon as they will host conference opponent Northern Kentucky, Kickoff is set for 3 o'clock, and if you can't make it, be sure to tune in to the Watch ESPN app. The men's and women's golf team will be heading out of Youngstown this upcoming weekend as the men's team will be traveling to Batavia, Ohio, as they compete in the NKU Fall Classic. The women's team will be taking a short trip over to State College, PA, to play in the Penn State Nittany Lion Invitational. Good luck to both teams over the weekend, and for news and updates about the results, visit YSUSports.com. The YSU football team extended its home winning streak to 10 against non-conference foe Central Connecticut State this past Saturday. The Gwens tied a school record with eight rushing touchdowns, resulting in a 59-9 route of the Blue Devils. Tevin McCaster, Christian Turner, and Joe Alessi combined for almost 300 yards on the ground. Nathan Mays went 8 for 12 passing, over 200 all-purpose yards with two touchdowns. Ricky Davis also getting some time with 65 yards on the ground and two rushing touchdowns as well. YSU will have a bye week before taking on South Dakota State at home under the lights next Saturday, September 30th. The men's tennis team had a great weekend when they played at the River Forest Intercollegiate. Senior Matthew Kritzinger won three matches to take the number five spot in singles draw, while Yossi Dahan won three straight matches. Dan Lowe Varmachek finished third in the number one singles draw, and Jao Corretto won the back draw at number two singles. Next week, the Gwens will head off to the Toledo Invitational on the 29th. It's that time again for the Penguin Play of the Week. Christina, I think I have a feeling of what this one's going to be. Let's check it out. It's going to be Nathan Mays on the read option, dancing to the outside through a couple linebackers to take it 39 yards to the house. Christina, what do you make of this play? Fantastic job by Nathan Mays to get the ball in the end zone. Good run by him. And, you know, that really added to the offensive rushing totals for the day. But this one, Chris, didn't, wasn't this your shot here? This was my angle. This was my shot. But yeah, look at the, and I think, I think you got a little lost in the sauce there. You missed the play. The recovery is what counts, though. The recovery is all what, you know, what counts. It's, it's whatever you say, but I really think you missed it. As long as you bounce back, then it's, that's what matters. That's what matters. Whatever you say, Chris. Well, that just about does it for all of us here on the Penguin Rundown. For news, highlights, and more, be sure to check out YSUSports.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Penguin Rundown 1. I'm Chris Colella. And I'm Christina Sainovich. We'll see you right here.
here next week.